Now to our top story this morning. Voters can start heading to the polls today as early voting begins in several metro counties. One of the big races on the ballot in Fulton County, Atlanta's mayoral race, where voters will decide who will fill Keisha Lance bottom seat. We have team coverage this morning in Fulton County. Kirstie Diaz standing by with the latest developments on the elections employees who were fired. But first, we're going to kick it off with Mara Sirianni, breaking down some changes you'll need to know about before heading to the polls, Mara. Hey Aisha, good morning. Many voters are definitely eager to let their voices be heard at the polls, but under Georgia's new election law, things may look a little bit different this year. So let's break down some of those changes, beginning with early voting. So two Saturdays must be set aside for early voting. The first would be this Saturday. Sundays are now optional for early voting, and this varies by county, so you'll need to check that depending on where you live. And this is important for anyone who wants to vote by mail. October 22nd is your last day to request an absentee ballot. Ballot drop boxes must now be placed inside early voting sites or in elections offices, and you can only access those boxes during early voting hours. And under the new law, each county is required to offer at least one drop box per 100,000 active registered voters. That means that you may be seeing less of those drop boxes around town. Um, and just a reminder, you will need to provide a, an ID, a valid driver's license if you are voting by mail or in person, or if you're dropping off a ballot at a Dropbox. And just to go over those hours, the polls will be open from 9 to 6. All right, Mara, thank you. 